Welcome to our guide on filling out the non-lapsing super beneficiary nomination form. By submitting this form, you will have more certainty that your money will go to the person or people you had in mind. Unfortunately, around one in five forms sent to us are invalid due to minor errors. So to help, we've prepared this video to walk you through completing the form. There is a checklist in the top right corner, which explains what you need to do to complete the form correctly. If we sent you the form in the mail, your title, full name and accounts have already been filled in. Please check these details are correct. If you've downloaded the form from our website, you will need to fill this information out yourself. Fill out your date of birth, as well as your preferred contact phone number and email address. Next, fill in your account or accounts you want the nomination to apply to. To find out your account name and number, check your last statement, log in to FirstNet or call us on 13 13 36. Now, it's time to nominate your beneficiaries. These are the people you wish your super and any insurances to go to if you pass away. You can only select a spouse, your children, someone who is financially dependent on you or someone in an interdependency relationship with you. You may also nominate your legal personal representative of your estate. For more information about these definitions, visit our website. To nominate each person, fill out their full name, including their middle name if they have one, and their date of birth. Tick the box which corresponds to their relationship with you and the percentage you wish to allocate. And if you wish to nominate a portion or all of it to your estate, allocate this here. Make sure these percentages all add up to 100%. If not, the form becomes invalid. Check the form one more time to make sure all details are correct and every section is complete. Turn over the form. You're almost done. Carefully read through the declaration section here and if you agree to these conditions, sign the form and fill in today's date with the full year. You must have two witnesses present while you do this. These witnesses must also sign and date the form at the same time as you. They cannot be those named as one of your beneficiaries. They must provide their full name, including middle name if they have one, and be over the age of 18. Should you make an error, put a neat line through the error and rewrite the correct entry next to it. If you do this, both you and your two witnesses must initial next to each error correction. Once complete, mail it to the address on the form or send it via FirstNet. We hope this guide was helpful. If you want more information or to download the form, visit colonialfirstate.com.au forward slash beneficiary.